Hey everybody, I'm the Attack Artist and welcome to Nintendo Weekly, a series where I discuss news from the past week, such as rumors, announcements, discounts, new game releases, and more news that you don't want to miss out on. So, without further ado, let's get on with the news. Data miners are at it again and they found some interesting details inside Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They found two codenames for upcoming DLC fighters. First, there is one called Jack, which probably is referring to the already announced Joker from Persona 5. The other one is called Brave. No, not that brave. According to Reset Era user Mondomega, this code refers to a Dragon Quest hero. The DQ hero class is called Yusha in Japan, which directly translates to Brave in English. If Nintendo were to announce any DLC characters, it would probably be in a Nintendo Direct. Speaking of which, according to Gaming Intel on January 10th, there is going to be a new Nintendo Direct. Probably about Smash Ultimate. This source is reliable as they have been correct on other Nintendo Direct dates before. So if you have an idea of who this Brave character could be, comment below. I'd like to see what you guys think. There wasn't much an announcement this week as Nintendo didn't tease anything or release any new trailers of first party games. However, the Pokemon I Choose You movie is now available on Netflix. So, if you haven't seen it yet, here's your chance. So, remember how a while ago Bowsette was popular all over the internet and then official art was found of a scrap Bowsette? Well, it looks like Nintendo won't be reviving that idea any soon, because it was technically deconfirmed. Nintendo has opened the official North American website for New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and on it is this screenshot which reveals that only Toadette can wear the Super Crown. It also pokes fun at Luigi since he's worn Peach's dress in the past, which is honestly pretty funny. In other news, a new easter egg of Totaka's song was found. If you don't know what that is, Totaka's song is a simple 19 note melody that Nintendo sound designer Kazumi Totaka is known for inserting in most of the titles that he has worked on. The song is very simple and is often hidden as an easter egg. The song has already been found in Pikmin 2 before, on the dungeon completion screen after waiting for minutes. However, it seems like it was hidden in another part of the game as well. If you wait on the Cub Sublittle Memory Card Warning screen for about 3 minutes, the song plays. And our last bit of miscellaneous news is about Animal Crossing. So how much do you love Animal Crossing, and how much time do you put in it? Some of you might say, you play for a year straight. Some of you might say, I play for two years on and off. Some people haven't played in three years, and Isabel is probably very, very swamped with angry villagers wondering where you are. However, that's not the problem for some people. An 87-year-old grandmother has put 3,580 hours into Animal Crossing New Leaf playing for the past four years every day. It's really sweet because she loves the series so much. Sadly, they don't have a Switch for her, so they set up a GoFundMe page titled Let's Buy Gran a Switch for Animal Crossing. And at the moment, $435 was raised by only 25 people in two days. So she'll be able to get the new Animal Crossing game. Speaking of Animal Crossing, and since it is now officially 2019, that means that Animal Crossing for the Switch will be coming out sometime this year. So far, there have not been any directs or videos released about it besides the announcement video, but that will probably change sometime soon. After waiting seven years for the new game, along with teases from non-mainline Animal Crossing games and Isabelle included in Smash, we have waited long enough and the new game is almost here. There will probably be a non-Smash related Direct in February or March, so hopefully we'll get a trailer then. But what do you think the new game will be about? Will you still be the mayor? Will Isabel be in the game? 
until January 10th, that date seems very important in this video, several first-party Nintendo Switch games will be discounted at GameStop, Target, and other retailers. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Octopath Traveler, ARMS, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, and Splatoon 2 is only $41.99 at GameStop and Best Buy Online for the digital version. Target has the physical versions of these titles for the same price in store. There is going to be a huge sale on the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo Switch and 3DS. Sorry, Wii U. Many first party games are going to be on sale from 30% to 70% off. The full list of games on sale are on screen now. So if you got some leftover money from Christmas gift returns, now's the time to spend it. So that wraps up this week's Nintendo Weekly. Be sure to comment below your thoughts on some of today's topics and subscribe if you're new here. I'm the Otaku Artist, and I'll see you guys next week for some more Nintendo news.